Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Let's see, I got the forge cooking off some forged iron over here because last night I went through and spent my points and I put one into tool crafting. I think it was to tier three and put another one into the chemistry station. So I can make myself a chemistry station. I need one. I have to take my one beaker out of the campfire. Forged iron, I have all of this. The forged iron is the one thing I'm waiting to cook down. And let me see, that puts me at 66. And if I put you in there, 97, so I'll need three more for that. I've got some bullet casings crafting over here. I made some bullet tips. Bullet tips to go with my gunpowder. And I did make a li I think I made, did I make any? I think I made a little bit of handgun ammo. I don't think I had a whole lot. Because I need more bullet tips and I kind of ran out. Anyway, so that's what we did last night. And I'm a little bit short on supplies I need to be able to use a writing desk. Some of y'all had pointed out that I had some coffee beans sitting in my crafting chest right here. 19 of them. I had stuck those down here in my crafting stuff chest and completely missed it. So appreciate you guys saying, hey, by the way, Cap, you're an idiot. Wait, uh, let me see. I've got, let me take you with me real quick. Unfortunately, I don't have any more fuel. So here's what we're going to be doing. To oh, good Lord. That's all I have. Hang on, did I put any more gas in here? Okay, good, I have... That's not even enough to get almost full. Let's see how much that did. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. But here's what we're doing. I've been putting it off for a little while, and while I'm waiting for that to do it here, I'm going down here to this opening trade route. we got a kilometer to go. It's due south of us, and this is another... Tr I think it's another trader. At least, I think it's a trader. It could be something entirely different. This is the direction I have to go to find the next scout, basically. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab supplies as I go along here because I need a lot. Since I have the, um, since I have the coffee beans I need now in order to be able to make some more ink, I need some tomatoes. So as I get over here, a little bit closer to him, I'm gonna see if I can't grab some more tomatoes. All the ones I do have, yucca, um, I already cooked down, so they're baked tomatoes and I need non-baked tomatoes. So I'm passing things right now, but as I get a little bit closer over here, which we're just going in a straight line. I'm not going to try and follow the roads because I don't have enough gas for that. So anyway, let's get over and see if he or she, I don't know who I'm going to see. And maybe they have a cool compound to loot. So let's get over here. Okay, now let's get over here. We made it, not too bad. We'll do a quick glance around, see if there's any tomato plants right around the entrance. It does look like it's mostly cotton. Okay, so I don't recognize this compound. I don't think this is a trader. So, oh, chicken. I'm sorry, man. You are in the wrong place. Um, maybe? Hold on. Where, where'd the chicken go? <laughs> He's a wily lass. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. I don't reckon this is not a trader, so I'm going to guess this is just a scout compound. Well, that's kind of cool. What do we have up here? Ooh, seeds. Can I? Oh, please tell me I can pick all these up. I can. Nice. Okay. So, um, do I? Oh, I don't. That's corn seeds. Nice. I'm taking all the seeds with me. I can't make. Uh, I don't think I can even make farm plots just yet, but I'm going to take all these with me. So once I do, then I will be ready to go. Pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds, and coffee seeds. Well, since I need coffee beans, or yeah, coffee beans in order to be able to make ink, at least one of the recipes, I might as well get all these. And that's aloe vera. Yeah. So I've kind of been going back and forth. I spent some time last night looking at all the skill trees that I might want to unlock if I get another book pretty soon. And I think the one I want to go with the most and may be the scientist. And the main reason why is because it'll allow me to unlock the physician class, which allows me to be able to make first aid bandages. Because right now I'm having to just either buy them or get lucky enough to find them. The demolition expert would be good. Yeah, science is where I can learn how to make all kinds of different things here. Stuff like this. Eventually, I definitely want to get into technology, but, you know, in order to be able to get into it, you got to be in level 80 just to get to the very first level of technology crafting. And we're a long ways away from that. Um, what's down there? Oh, okay, this is the waypoint of this place. Okay, well, first things first, we're going to... Ooh, do you have anything in here? Oh, I want this. A big forge. Uh, let me see, can I... Uh, I don't think I can... No, 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 no. I think maybe... 
I'd be curious. I'd be real curious, I should say. I'm, I'm kind of just sputtering words here. And I'm losing track of thoughts here because I didn't know what that was. This I want for my house. This is a vehicle crafting workstation, mechanics workstation. As a regular workbench, it's a metal workstation. I was just trying to see if there's anything in any of them. Dude, if any of this was working, wait a minute. These are working. <gasps> That's working. That's all oh, this is. Dude, I'm moving in. You have yourself a new roommate. I hope you're okay with that. Oh, that's a working wall oven. Ooh, I need one of those. There's some food recipes that you need uh, the working wall oven to be able to make, too. Oh, dude. If you were playing along in the home game or you're playing along and you're about to start it yourself, find this scout and move in. Holy crap. There's so much good stuff in here. What are you? Ooh, pancakes. Sorry, I'm really excited. I like, I like me some pancakes. Yep, we're moving in. Oh, man. Okay, so we got a gun rack. Please be good things. Uh, structural brace mods, not bad. Padded chest armor, okay. That's not bad. Some iron, I'll use that. Plastic, i use that. Blade mod. Gun parts. And that's cloth and some pants. Some suit pants that we're just going to scrap for more cloth. Okay, well, that wasn't fantastic stuff. Wait, where do you go? Do you just go back out to the outside here? Well, we'll check to see if there's anything good in here first. I have a little bit of money. Not a lot. I'm still contemplating. Oh, nice. I'm still contemplating whether or not I should... Um, I should buy the... Mo the, uh... Water filter mod? What is that called? The water purifier mod. That's what it is. So I can just straight up drink out of the ditch. Um... I don't know if I'm going to or not just because it's so expensive and from what I've been finding so far in the game, you don't really get a ton of money from things. And I was hoping to get more gas from breaking those down, but I did not. Uh, I guess, hang on, let's, we'll go upstairs first. We need to go see the scout. See if we, we should get some supplies for well, coming I'll up. I'll do business with you as long as you're not a thief. Hey, Razor, what's up, my dude? I don't care what folks Ooh. say about you in the wasteland. Am oh, um. in my book. Crap, which one should I make? 160, or should I take the 9mm? Or the 76, oh, I should probably take the 762. I'm going to take it. Hey, do you have any jobs? Retrieve some supplies. Oh, you want me to go dig a hole? Um, can I, oh, I can't buy anything from you, so there's not even like a merchant here to buy anything from. This is a weird little bathroom. I guess this is like your epiphany toilet, huh? You need to learn how to flush, dude. That's just wrong. I'll leave your bed alone. I promise I won't break it down. Oh, hey. We don't have to go very far to do the digging. And I see a thug right over there. Okay, well, let me do a quick look around on this outside walking path here. See if there's anything maybe I missed. This is a cool little facility. I don't, I've never seen this before. I know. I'm excited. I want to take these with me. Put them at my own base. Oh, hey. Uh, I can get on top of the roof. Nice. I don't know if there's anything up here. Oh, dude, it's even working solar panels. Now something I'm curious is, if I slap a land claim block down, can I pick up all of this stuff? I kind of want to try it. With the default settings in Darkness Falls, by the way, because somebody had asked, you can have three land claim blocks. I have one at my home. I have one over at the actual horde base. So I could drop another one down and um, call it good. Uh oh don't make it in. Don't make it. Damn it! You made it in. <laughs> oh, well, now I kind of feel bad. You're just a regular wolf for some reason. I thought you were a little bit more of a, uh, you know, more dire kind of wolf. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, let's see. I do have my scrap shovel and I have a little bit of iron so I can repair it. This should allow me to dig a little faster. And I do want to look around for some tomatoes. As I'm doing this because I need them for the recipe. That's a potato. We'll take that. Hey, what's up, my dude? Whoop, we missed. It's okay, so did you. Get a little bit of blood damage going here. The knife is just really good. It's just really good, and I like it. Okay. Nothing in the trash. Then why is there trash here? Okie dokie. So, this is the area we need to go. I guess I'm going to start over on the east side. We got all kinds of time. So, um, if I dig through this and if I can find whatever's down here, I'm going to guess it's like a buried treasure sort of thing. If I can get down here real quick, 
get this, then maybe we can do another job for him. Who knows? Um, he gave us ammo the first time, which I'm totally on board with. And I'm going to do like I normally do and dig a trench across the top here. At least this shovel is only a four hit versus the stone shovel, so it's a little better. So I guess let's see if we can shrink the circle down and see which direction it is. Okay, so it looks like the circle is moving this direction. I want to I want to try. I've been wanting to try to to try this out here, just to see which direction the circle is moving from or to, and then just dig straight down and kind of like dig in an arc from there. That's technically how it's supposed to work. I don't know if it actually does or not. We'll just see. I'm going to dig myself into a hole here and hope nothing comes out. At least with this being just a buried treasure quest, that it, well, I don't know. Because, uh-oh. Make sure I can get out in case things show up here. Um, with this being a quest from a scout, I don't know if this is like a normal buried tr uh, treasure quest where once you collapse a circle a little bit, it brings the zombies in. I don't know. We'll just have to see, I guess. But I'm going to dig down around a little bit here. Okay, so the circle is definitely staying right here. So normally when the circle collapses, it moves from one side in towards another. So I have to assume it's on this side somewhere. Oh! There's something else I wanted to mention to you guys before, because I forget sometimes. Um, for starters, obviously, big humongous thank you for all of my Patreon supporters and my YouTube member supporters. Um, you guys help keep the channel going on the during the months when the you know ad revenue and stuff for YouTube is just down. You guys help keep the channel going, and I truly, truly do appreciate that. But one of the things I wanted to mention, I forgot, is just something new that Patreon added. Is now they have a free trial. So what you can do is if you were thinking about becoming a YouTube or a, I'm sorry a patreon member you can sign up for it and you can get an entire month of or I'm sorry you can get seven days of being a patreon subscriber for free so for a full week you'll be able to get access to early videos you can get um, access to thumbnails and stuff so you basically get access to being a patreon member for free for seven days if you sign up for it here. Um, and that if you decide you don't like it after seven days, there's there's no risk, no nothing you have to pay for. So anyway, it's one of those that just want to say thanks for everybody who is a Patreon member and for anybody who's been kind of thinking about it. You can sign up for free from seven day uh, for seven days. So um, links, of course, to that in the video description down below. But let's keep digging, see if we can't find this stupid treasure. Hold up, Tom's coming over to say hey to us. What's up, Tom? You want to help me? What's up? You want to help me dig a hole? So it's definitely moving this direction. So I don't think I'm going in the right direction. We just gotta, just gotta keep on digging, I guess. All right. So it's slowly bringing in like one person at a time here. Sylvia and Lisa's coming over to see me. Hi, ladies. Y'all want to come play in this hole I'm digging? It's kind of like a sandbox. It's less sand, more clay. But you know, we can still have some fun with it if you want to. I mean, you look like you're having lots of fun. Yeah, leveled up. Come here, you. You're walking really slow. You saw what I was doing to Sylvie, and you're like, I don't want to do that. And stay down. Ooh, airdrop. Please be towards the house. You are nowhere near the house. I don't have the I don't have the gas for that. <laughs> That's a long ways the wrong way. I am absolutely going to di uh, make myself a land claim block, slap it down in here, and see if perchance I can pick up those workstations. If I can steal his workstations and take them home with me, I'm absolutely going to. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. It's not that far of a ride. I could technically drive over here and utilize his supplies if I need to. He's got a workbench, he's got a vehicle workstation, so when I learn how to actually make some of those vehicles, I can just drive over here and slap it together and I don't have to build me one. That would save me some supplies for sure, but I'd much rather have it at my house than you know, over here at his house. But that's really cool that they're here, and the, the giant fireplace, or I think that's the advanced forge. If I could take that with me, that'd be great too. Okay, so it is summoning in some zon- oh hell! <laughs> It is summoning some zombies in every time. The football player is a little fast here. Come on, run in a straight line. Technically, you ran in a straight line, but it just didn't do that much damage to you. Hey, Garrett, what's up, dude? Hang on, I'm being chased by a football player. Oh, hell, we got the double shot on that one. Got to reload faster. You want to fall off in the hole here? That didn't kill you, but it did do some damage. You're a feral stripper. Rawr to you too. I've got shotgun ammo, so I'm gonna use it on this guy. Straight line. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
popped his top. Got a few lady friends coming over to see us. You guys, I can just give the old bonkaroo to here. Now the football player's dead. Y'all will move at normal speeds. Okay, so whatever I was saying earlier about wondering if it's going to bring in extra zombies every time I dig a little hole. Apparently so. Yay! Come on, something fun. A beer. You know what? That is pretty good for stamina regen. Let's drink it. Let's celebrate with beer. You brought it to me. Might as well. We'll probably get the blurries. Oh, we didn't get blurry. Huh. Okay, so it kind of looks like the circle is pulling from the other direction now, but okay. Well, let's keep digging. We got to get, we got to find this treasure. There it is. Finally found it. What do we got? Uh, diazepam, which is good for rifle damage, junk baton, and the supplies. That's, that's it, huh? That's, that's all that was down here. I dug out all of this for... No, I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm going to need to file a grievance, sir. A, somebody buried really crappy supplies in the ground. And two, they buried it way too deep. And of course, just like normal, and I'm not even surprised, honestly, is that I started digging on the wrong side of the hole. Somebody left the door open. It wasn't me, but somebody did. Now, is this a... It's a big forge. Yes, it is. Hang on. We're going we're gonna to try this here. I need... To, do I have any rocks? I don't think I've picked up any small stuff. No, I haven't. I need, let me out. There's a bunch of them right around here, though, so I can get this. We're going to try this, and I and I don't feel bad. Some people may be like, oh, Cap, that's cheating. You need to be able to learn how to make it yourself. No. You learn how to survive, and if it means stealing from somebody who's permanently affixed to a location, well, that's just tough tatas. We'll go talk to the dude first, see what else he has for us. Maybe get a good reward before I try and rob him. You still hanging around? Well, you made me go dig a hole, Incredible. so yeah. Crossbow, crossbow bolts, golden rod teeth, sterile bandages. The generic schematic is probably what I need the most. That's probably what I'm going to need the most. This will be great, of course, but meh. So I'd need that. This I can make. Those I have more than I need. So I'm taking the schematics. Okay, what other jobs do you have? Thin the horde. Kill any zombie. Just literally kill any 20 zombies? I can do that. Okay, well, let me try something. We're going to try this real quick. We're going to craft ourselves a land claim block. We're a little bit full on stuff. I'm going to eat these yummy pancakes. Nom, nom, nom. That'll get the food going up a little bit. I didn't bring much else to drink. I can't believe... I mean, you have a vending machine downstairs. So if I absolutely had to have something to drink, we have this right here. Dang, tomato juice? Oh, okay, so they're $600 a piece. Apple juice is a little bit cheaper. What do you normally provide? You're 25. Well, let me buy one of these. I'll just buy one of these and then I'll drink it. We should have our land claim block here done here in just a second. If I could take this, this, um, I don't need this. I have a metal workstation and this is just a basic workstation, so I don't need that. If I take the vehicle workstation and the big forge back, that would at least be okay. It's probably not going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. There it is, right there in the middle. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this and see what happens. If it works, great. If not, oh, you suck. Okay. Um. Well, hang on. Let me see. Ah, Gabe, I see you're trying to keep me from being a dirty little cheater, huh? Okay. Well, let's see how far out I have to go before I can place this. Oh, so you can't have the overlap at all on that, can you? It's still red over here, so it's. I'm trying to see how far out I have to go here. Wow, that's not going to work. Game, haha, <laughs> you suck. You suck, but I, I get it, I get it. You're trying to keep me from cheating, trying to keep me honest. I get it. You kind of suck. I really wanted to steal from this guy, but it is what it is. I need to look around out here for, oh, I need the lead for all the bullet tips. A, I need 20 zombies, which I'm surprised we haven't found any standing around out here yet. And B, I need a lot of tomatoes and stuff. So I might as well just look around out here we got we don't have enough gas to drive all over town which there's not even a town here we don't have enough gas to drive all over the countryside looking for nothing Ooh, what is that is that no that's not a town that's one poi in the middle of nowhere there's a tomato plant we haven't found very many tomato plants oh there's one zombie right there how about we'll hoof it over here and see what this particular location is and see if... Ooh, we'll get that. You come here real quick. 
Don't swing at me, sir. Nut shot. We'll go with the double nut shot to see if you had anything in your bag. A crappy padded hood. Okay, well, we killed one zombie. Might as well search the stumps while we find them. Sometimes you can get some ammo. Bag of peanuts? Sure. Free peanuts are always nice. What is this POY? I see a military truck over here. Um, this looks like a very big location. This is definitely not one we're just going to run through today. I want to very much so to run through my basement. Hello? The basement at my house. I really, really want to run all the way through there. But that thing's like a tier four POI. And then darkness falls. We don't need to add extra difficulty. And if you haven't noticed, I'm a little bit low on ammo and stuff. So running through a place like that where you can get absolutely wrecked real quick is probably not the greatest idea. That's it? There better be something good in this one. Some chili. Well, I need two cans of those for anything. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work on breaking these down. Because A, you get the supplies. And B, I need the gas. We kind of coasted in on the fumes. So if I could get at least enough to get home, that'd be great. Okay, that should be enough to get home. I'm not spending all day cranking that bad boy down. I wanted to know what this POI is, but I don't... Hang on. This garage might not be... A... Oh, um... Oh, well, I'll be damned. I don't know if there's anything in here, but we'll, we'll... For some reason, you keep your trash locked up. Some cement. Nice. I need that for the concrete mix, so I might as well. Nasty meats and... A little bit of cobblestone. You think this was all worth locking up, huh? I'm going to say that I disagree. But, hold on, we got a soldier, no, not a soldier, we got Tim in there. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here. I see a box right there. Right in there. I'm, I don't, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this POI because I will absolutely wake up everybody in the area. And again, low on ammo. Very much low on ammo. We'll get Big Frank here in a second. I can at least search these vehicles. The cars will break down a little bit faster and I can get some gas from those. Ooh, nice. Some repair kits. That's always good to have. And some clay. Like I don't have enough of that. Okay, well, let's let's go deal with Frank real quick. Because he'll start coming over here as soon as we start doing things. What's up, my dude? Don't blow up on me, okay? All right, well, let's search the vehicles first. See if there's anything good in here. Okay, there was a little bit in here. Not a ton, but a little bit. Well, we can crank one of these down pretty fast, and you get a lot more gas from these. Look, you know, four cranks, and I've already got, you know, plus 40 over here versus what I was getting from the military truck, and this one's going to be gone way faster than the truck is. Plus, I could always use the supplies. We're already chonky. You might as well, right? There we go. Plus 200 units of gas. I see a tomato plant right there. See a chicken come running up at me. Oh, somebody had mentioned something that I have not seen in Darkness Falls yet. And if they're not in there, somebody tell me. Are spiders still in Darkness Falls? The last one I played in Alpha 19, there were still the creepy looking spiders that made all kinds of creepy noises. And I don't know if they're still in here. I've not seen them yet. I haven't seen... Ooh, hang on. Can I... Can I snipe you? I mean... Yes, I can, but could I actually hit you is more or less what I'm going with this here. Uh, lead him just a little bit. I think I missed. Yep, I missed. So anyway, I'm not sure if there's any spiders in this game or not. If there is, I've not seen them anywhere. So uh, who's anybody else who's playing along? Have you seen any spiders anywhere? Because I'd be generally curious since I've not run into any. There we go. Drop off some inventory. Oh, I need to scrap that down. That'll give me a little bit more on the blank paper stuff. Not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, I need to see what time it is real quick. So we have... Where did you come from? Is it because somebody let the door open? Because that wasn't me. Oh, nice. You brought some parting goods too. Shotgun shells. Nice. And, uh, oh, that one's better than the one I have. Thank you, ma'am. I could sell you for barely anything, but I could definitely use you and some hop seed. I'm going to leave the hops behind. I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, was there anything else in here that I didn't take with me here? This stove would have been great to have, too, because this is an actual working wall oven. You slap a battery in whatever this is. It looks like a hair roller. And you can get some extra uh, extra recipes and stuff from those than what you can on a cooking pot. There's a bad moon rising. Yeah, see, I did... 
and I kind of I can't believe you won't sell anything to you. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Hang on. I need to go down here. I was going to see what time it is. It is 6 o'clock. We have a little bit of time left. If we go creeping in right at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. Tell you what, I'll close your door behind me. I put all the gas that I had in here and got it at least kind of going. There's a zombie. We'll, uh, we'll kind of mill around because I need to find some more tomatoes. And I need to kill a bunch of zombies so I can look around for zombies to kill. And I can look around for some tomatoes as we start making our way back towards the house, which is this way. I'm not going to worry about getting the airdrop today. That'll be another trip by itself. But if I can find some more tomatoes, and yes, I should get the yucca while I'm here since that's technically the food that I'm eating. The grilled yucca does pretty good considering how much of it I've found so far. But I guess we'll start heading back towards the house and we'll stop and gather things or kill things as we come across them to work on getting this. I have no idea what level of quest line this guy's going to give me um, as far as like the... I didn't even see you there. What's up, big mama? Hang on. Don't do it. I said no. Did you like that, huh? Shoot you right in the eye hole. Well, I need you for your, I need you for my stats. So I'm just going to beat on your giant granny panties. I need you to go ahead and stay down without blowing up. And there we go. Six out of 20. That, you feel like that one should be a really easy one to come, uh, to be able to complete. But all of a sudden now the zombies are hard to find. No, no, no. Game, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. You didn't, I didn't say anything. You didn't hear me say anything we don't need a random horde showing up okay we dealt with one of those at the bookstore and they kind of sucked mostly just because of the ones that run at me a regular sized group of zombies just showing up here okay i can kite them around i can you know do what i need to do to kill them one at a time when you get a big horde and it's got like the radiated idiots that are spitting at you and cops and big mamas and then you got football players and other people that run at you it, def it doesn't take much time before they ding you, and then all of a sudden, now you're kind of on the defensive. They put you on your heels, you know? And I gotta say, that kind of sucks. Hang on. Well, I'll meet you at the bottom. I hope you don't take any damage. I'm trying to collect all the tomatoes I can. I don't remember how many I need for the ink recipe. I mean, I could look, literally. Okay, so is this one? No, that's blueberries, carrots, tomatoes, and plant fiber. So I need, I have plant fibers, jars of honey, eggs. Oh, that's for the chemistry station. So I need 18 for this one. Or the recipe that used coffee. Where is the one that uses coffee? Oh, it's right there. I need blueberries. So tomatoes is what I need. If I get the chemistry station, I can make it there and I only need three more tomatoes. That's not too bad. If I don't get the chemistry station made, then it's going to suck because I need twice as many. I'm going to leave the wolf alone for now. I'm going to start making our way back home. I'll probably kill zombies closer to the house and worry about trying to complete the quest at another time. Sup, my dude? I mean, complete it by like, you know, I'll kill the zombies to get credit for it and do all that stuff. And then um, I can drive back over here at another time. Like I said, he's got the working stations and stuff I need to be able to complete some stuff. You know, like a vehicle workstation? You gotta have that to make some of the vehicles in Darkness Fall. Some of the Darkness Fall specific mods. So that's definitely where I'm going with that. Is It's not that far of a drive over here to be able to make some of that. And that's gonna be very, very cool. I still wish I could take them home. But I get it, game. You're keeping me honest. I can't say I blame you, but you still suck. Sup, dude? Oh, I kind of feel bad. Hang on, we got one more right over there. Halfway done with our goal. Come here, Kyle. Yeah, tweaker. And pick up the yucca as well. Glance around, make sure there's not any. Oh, there's one right here. Hey, Charlie. Samba, dude. Ready to go to the hoe down? You're a hoe that's down. <laughs> Crickets are chirping. We're going to get back to the house here shortly. I don't want everything. I don't want to deal with all the running idiots. By the way, I'm fully aware that if you hold down the space bar, it, you come to like a screeching halt on your bike and it'll stop rolling away from you. That's not what I'm about. That, that's not what I'm doing. I'm intentionally... Um, leave me alone, wolf. Leave me alone. 
I'm intentionally jumping off and letting it roll to a stop. I'm doing that on purpose. So if you're worried about me doing it the wrong way, I'm doing that on purpose. I believe this big house right here is our neighbor. So our house should literally be right here, if I'm not mistaken. Caps, boobs, barbecue, and beer. Or beer, barbecue, and boobs, however you want to word that. Parky Raja. Let me see what time it is real fast. It is 7 o'clock. All right, let me throw a couple things in here real quick. I did put a few things inside my mini bike that I can haul in later, too. All right, let's see where you are. So you got a little bit of this going. What I need to do while I still have it here. Let me grab that and that. Go up here, and I should be able to make some 9mm. Oh, that's the wrong one. 9mm here. I need a lot of that. I can make 44 rounds. Well, that's, that's something. That's at least something. Peek around. I want to see if I can find, uh, get a couple more of these zombie kills while we're here. Oh, hey, there's a snake. Can't believe I hadn't seen that guy before. The snake, I mean. This guy's new right here. Well, since you're... Oh, hang on. There you go. Oh, nice. Brought me a bag. With some BDU pants in there. Come get some snake. Gotcha. Now give me your meat. Thank you. I'm going to tear apart this tire and see if I get lucky. And yeah, I got a wheel. Don't even necessarily need one just this second. Oh, there's Big Mama. Hold on, she doesn't see us. Boom, right in the dome. Oh, and that killed her too. We got, we got credit for that. We only need six more kills and we'll have... Sup, dude? Where'd you come from? Didn't see you when I drove up, that's why I'm asking. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I got the last little bit of this I need. So I'm gonna get the chemistry station going. We're close to the end of the day here. So let me get a chemistry station just so I can track you. I need to know what I need here. I need my one beaker, which I'm not a fan of having to do that, but whatever, I guess. My forged irons right here, we're good on that. Three cooking pots, acid and pipes. Okay, acid and pipes. And we can make ourselves a chemistry station. Lovely. And craft. Boom! I don't need to track you. You're going to take a long freaking time to work. No big deal. I'll put all the rest of this back in here. That's lovely. That is lovely. Fantastic. I'm happy about that. I got a little bit. We didn't get that much meat while we're... Oh, we still have some stuff in the bag, too. In the bag. The bike. I need to go ahead and get all that stuff out and haul it back in here. And that's pretty much going to be it for the day. We, we made a new best friend. We, we made a new best friend, and he did some work for, or we did some work for him. It was good times over there. We had, we had, we had a good time in there. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. So don't miss out on future videos, of course. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I will talk to you later.